guys, Sergio here. Welcome back to another video. So, a little bit of a different one today. I have a mould, but we're not using resin. Okay, so I have purchased this stone mould um, from Amazon. I'll pop the link in the description for you. Um, because I've done a lot of dot painting on flat pieces, so on wooden shapes. So we've got the hearts, we've got the discs, you know. I've done a few different shapes, but I really want to try them on some stones. So I got this and I also bought some quick set cement. Dries in 10 minutes. So we're going to make this today and try and do some things. So we're going to start off with some gloves because... I do not want to risk my gloves. Um, you know, this stuff shouldn't be on your hands. So <clears throat> I'm also going to put my respirator and my goggles on because I don't want this to be in my lungs. Now, just a quick look on the back. So it is three parts filler to one part water. Um, so I have a box that we're going to use and I have this cup seems to be about the right size. We'll probably have slightly too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. So we need three of these of the powder. Oh, I'm tempted to go one size smaller. I don't know. We'll do three sizes of this one. I think this one's probably better, actually. <laughs> See, I'm changing my mind as I go. I'd prepped all of this. So, let's put my goggles on. Right, what do we say? Three parts Fill out one pot water, mix to a smooth paste, remains workable for five minutes. Apply with a trowel or knife, we're not going to do that, we're just going to pop it in the mould. Working to, yeah, yeah. Uh, sets within five minutes. Remove excess filler from tools with clean water, that's fine. Uh, only mix quantity necessary, otherwise setting will occur, yeah, that's fine. Now, I don't know if this is the right stuff because this says for repairs, but. Um, <clears throat> It is what it is. I'm going to grab the water while I can still talk to you. Try not to spill this everywhere. Okay. Hmm. This is going to be difficult to mix because it's quite big. We're going to we're going to angle this. My, my shells. There we go. <laughs> so that we can mix it down in this bottom section. So there is my water. Put my respirator on before I even open the box. So I've got my respirator and my goggles on. <laughs> okay. powder in first. Mix this 
smooth paste. Okay. feeling a bit thicker there we go yeah <laughs> down in the size was definitely a good idea <laughs> goes off we will pop this in the mould and keep mixing to try and make sure we've not got any like pumps of powder anywhere some bubbles to it which <coughs> is less than ideal but just want to make sure there's no like powder sitting in there you know what I mean because I don't want clumps of uncured cement okay it's thickening up now okay cool that's why I've made it too thin Definitely thickening now. Yeah. Okay. Hey Google, cancel my timer. Hey Google, cancel my timer. Okay, cancelled. Tidy the mess up in a minute. So, I'll start with this one because this is the one. the right amount, look at me go. Sometimes I really impress myself.
bubbles and bubbles coming. And hopefully that means the, cup, the bubbles have risen to the top and they're not sinking down below. So we're just going to leave that here. It has been about 15 minutes and they're still really warm to the touch. Um, I was starting to tidy up, I'm just going to give this a wipe. But I wanted to give a, a, a speed run through of these drying so that we could see how the colour changed and stuff. But they are, they are rock solid. Like I don't have the strongest hands but I'm not leaving any dents in that. So that's good. So let's pop them out. Oh, I'm super excited. Right. Okay, so I need to keep those little bits so they don't fly everywhere, but that's what you get for making a mess on the mould, I guess. Oh, look at that. It's so smooth. Oh, okay. This one's going to make a lot of crumbs because I made a mess. They have all sunk down, so I feel like I needed a smidgen more. Um, but once they're down, you won't notice that it's got that indent. Um, and this was the one I was most looking forward to dotting on because it's the largest one. They are nice. So yeah, they have indented a titch. So when I do the next, I need to pile up the mould slightly. So I do need... Oh, that's so warm. Oh, it's lovely to hold. It's so warm. Um, yeah, I do need to put a little bit more in. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm not doing any damage to that at all. You could always sand those edges as well so that um, it's nice and smooth. I mean, I'd probably put feet on this anyway and maybe just sand that edge down at some point, but I'm really happy. Really happy. 10 minutes to make stones perfect for dotting on. Um, if you have enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. It means the world to me. If you want to see me dot them live, pop over to Twitch. The link will be down in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this. Keep crafting and I'll see you on the next one.